What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lynn Dares from LNL Line Service. Back at you. Anyway, I'm driving. I just came from uh, dealer. The dealer for you know equipment and stuff like that. For I told you I was gonna take my uh, I, I I had to take my blower back in. The the uh, 580 Husqvarna BST BTS one of them uh, BST BTS BTS I think it is 580 BTS Husqvarna. You know I only had this thing for like eight months. You know what I'm saying? And I really haven't been using it. You know, so out of the eight months. I really haven't used it, you know, here and there, you know, just to test the power and stuff like that when I first got it. So I really haven't been using that thing. So for it to need a carburetor and stuff like that already, that's what they told me it's going to need because it kept, it kept cutting out when I did full throttle on it. So they said they're going to order a carburetor kit and go from there. Uh, you know. That, that's just crazy, man. You know, I, I haven't even used that dog on thing. And it might be due to, you know, my enclosed trailer. I don't know. Because all of them was acting like that. The other two are fine now. Uh, they all were acting the same way they were cut out. So, my analysis is that it had to do something with the heat. Because they all did the same thing two of them are fixed now that one's supposed to have been fixed but it was probably so new you know i don't know they probably didn't mess around with it you know they probably got it started and stuff but who who the heck knows all in all is back in the shop it's going to get a carburetor kit and you know i'm kind of just disappointed because you know the leaves are falling down I'm sure I'm going to be getting some calls pretty soon when all the leaves drop and people are going to want like leaf cleanups. So it's raining right now. The leaves are wet. I never really want to do them when they're wet. So it sucks doing wet leaves. So, but at the same time, you know, if they're wet, it's going to take you a little bit more time. And that's why I charge by the hour. I charge by the hour. I charge, I charge 45 bucks per man on, on, you know, helping. So if I'm there and I got another person with me, which I usually do, usually I do, it's usually me and my wife. My wife goes out with me to uh do leaves that's the only time she really helps me on 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 the lawn care side she'll go out and do leaves because she says exercise and things like that and she don't mind doing it so she goes out with me i charge 90 bucks we're on the property mm -hmm. for an hour two hours you know no more than three some big leaf cleanups you're on there for three hours but i charge 90 bucks per hour you know and if i had another person with me I would charge another 45 bucks. Yeah, you know? So, uh, but for that hour, that's how I do things. Uh, I'm still doing pricing and regulating my prices and stuff like that and fluctuating and stuff. I'm thinking, uh, you know, this year maybe I should do 50, you know? So I should do 100 bucks per hour, you know, if it's me and her. Hundred bucks, we're good, you know. Uh, you know, you just start tweaking your prices and stuff like that. Cause I got uh, better blowers. You pay for better blowers. Uh, those those better blowers use more gas. Um, you know, I got the equipment, the 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 um, the. Craftman uh, uh, vac that, that you know that picks up and mulch the leaves. I got that. Uh, so I got a system of how I do it. Some some customers want their 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 
you know, I give them a choice of what they can actually pay for, you know, or what they want to pay for. Some people don't want mulch leaves in their grass, so they want you to pick them up. So when you pick them up, you're going to have to have the bags. You're going to have to, it takes a little bit more time to pick them up. When you mulch them, you just blow them in a pile and you just run over those things over and over and over. Once they get like dusty, you just blow it all over the grass and stuff, you know, but some customers don't like that. So it's a variety of ways customers want you to do their yard. You just, you just explain to them the ways that you can do it. And, you know, they like to hear you can save some money. So when you mulch them all up, you saving time, you saving money. <laughs> if you got a spot where you can dump them at, like if they you on a property where you can dump them on that property line, you know, that helps them out. So that's less time to have to pick them up, do all that stuff. So there's a variety of ways to do these leaf cleanups and your time is money. And that's the way I look at it. <clears throat> so I'm still adjusting my prices and things like that. But yeah, that's 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 what I'm doing for now. I charge 90 bucks per hour, me and another person, and uh, we go from there. It worked for me last year. You know, I made some good money last year on leaf cleanups. If I bump them up to 50, 50 bucks this year, you know, I might just do that. But we'll see. Like on the newer customers, you can you can you can do that sometime. And then if they they don't want your service, they don't want your service. Just move on. You know, no big deal. You know, because there's another lawn care company that's paying that's 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 charging probably sixty bucks per hour per man, or sixty five or seventy five dollars per man that's on your yard. You know what I'm saying? So there's a whole skew of uh, prices price ranges that you know if they don't want to go with your price they have to go with either somebody lower that's probably low balling or 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 you know less you know not doing a good job or you're gonna go with somebody that's you know another company that's expensive and i think i try to fall in a range of midway to be reasonable pricing you know but everybody can't afford your 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 prices and and your services and you have to mentally tell yourself that all the time when you know you don't want to bend on your prices because man it it sucks doing leaves tell you the truth man you got dust you got you 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 bending back and forth over your back you know your legs uh you know you you i mean it's 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 work and that's why people don't want to do head leaves they don't want to do them leaves so that's where you come into play and you put your price out there and, and your estimate and, and that's it. They you roll with you that you probably get, hey, I, I'll get back with you. They're going to call some other people and they're going to uh, justify your price uh, sometime with other companies. When they see those other companies prices is like high, that's when they call you back. You know, you don't want to be too low. You don't want to shortchange yourself. You want to be in that that middle range, or you up there with some of the some of the uh, some of the high price lawn care companies, and they're out there, and people pay for them. So uh, it's all about what you want. I, leaves is fun, but they back break it. So you know, I ain't never met anybody that says, "Oh, I love doing leaves." When the leaves come down, if they do, it's gig. They got a small yard or something like that. You know, they dog jumping in it, and you know the kids are playing in them. They they get that gratification out of it. You know, when they want to do leaves. So, but actually, you know, doing it yard after yard after yard, or doing three or four yards or five yards of leaf cleanups. Yeah, I bet you they won't be saying that no more. <laughs> I love doing leaves. Now, nah, that money is what motivates you to get that yard done, you know. And if you feel like you're, you you under you, you, you shortchanged yourself, you ain't going to feel good about doing that yard. And you're not going to feel good like you just got, you know, you got gypped, you gypped yourself, you know what I'm saying? So, man, put them prices to what you want it to be, you know, that you're worth doing those leaves. Um, but, yeah, all in all, all the leaves are not down. 
uh, if I had to do a leaf service today, I could do it. I got the uh, the, the the 770 uh, Echo, and I got my 150 uh, 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 Husqvarna. That'll get me through. You know what I'm saying? But I want to have two bad boys, man, busting out these leaves. I was looking at the. I went to the dealer and I asked about the the BR 800s, and they said they're not coming out to the springtime. So, you know, I don't know if I could get these running. There's no reason for me to get the BR 800 or the BR 700. You know, unless I just want to get it just to, you know, compare with these other ones that I got. But so far, I've been kind of disappointed with the Husqvarna uh, 580. Uh, BTS, I, I've been disappointed with that. It, it, there should be no reason why, you know, I'm running into this problem of putting a carburetor on it, carburetor kit on it already, like, and out the gate. So, this is the thing. It's a manufacturing thing. You know, some people have good luck with their equipment, you know, and then some people, you know, get 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 problems with the equipment you know it's just like my car you know i know somebody always getting a car always buying a new car because they dog their car out you do this to your equipment you're gonna have problems all the time you gotta maintain your equipment sharpen blades change oil things like that just like you would do with your car clean it take care of it you know watch it for you know any problems or leaks or whatever the case is if you do that you clean it out all the time or you clean your your, your equipment making it look good they last longer you know um, and then sometimes you can get the same type of car or equipment whatever you want vice versa and you having success with it and somebody that brought the same car is always breaking down. That could be due to them or it could be a manufacturing thing. You know what I'm saying? Cars go back, be recalled all the time. Like, you know, so, you know, I think some of these, these equipment need to be recalled sometime. You know what I'm saying? Because they coming off that line or whatever the case is and they being sold and things like this happen. You know, how the heck your Husqvarna 580 BTS, not hardly used at all, you know, brand new, eight months old, have to have a new carburetor on it. I don't get it, but it is what it is. You know, I didn't have no problems with that, that, uh, the Husqvarna, uh, 150, uh, until two or three years later, two, three years later. So, I don't know. All right, guys. I'm done. Rat. Rate. I'm done. It's gloomy outside. It's wet. See it raining? See it raining? It's raining out there. Look at the leaves down. They getting wet. So, it's supposed to rain the next two days. And, uh... I guess the rain is helping these leaves fall down, fall off the trees, and things like that, you know. So, sooner or later, the call's going to be coming in. People going to want to do your leaves. and I'm going to have to go over to some of my customers' houses and see if they got leaves on the property and get them up and all that stuff. So, all right, guys, I'm out. Like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button. Do whatever you got to do, but you better do it. All right, guys, peace.